Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a personal box of 2019-2020 Panini Hoops Basketball on this Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Um, Charles picked up a box. So thanks, Charles. See Alexander in the chat. Two autographs per box on average. Obviously, everything ships. It's a personal box. Remember, folks, we don't do personal boxes very often, so whenever you see them on the site, take advantage of them before they're gone. So let's see what we got here. Let me move the microphone over here a little bit. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we have. We're looking for that guy, of course, but I think there's a lot of... I think this rookie class might be, might be deeper than we might think it is. Seems to be a lot of rookies with some pretty solid starts. I think they're going to hit a rookie wall, a lot of them. That's going to happen, and then they'll then they'll bounce back a little bit. But it is a pretty exciting time of year. We got hoops in full swing. And we got well, like a, a couple months into the Premier League season, a few months into the Premier League season. For those of you who are excited about soccer. Got NASCAR Chase for the Cup wrapping up. Hockey is in full swing. Baseball just wrapped up, but the hot stove is heating up. So we're going to figure out where all the free agents go and what trades are made in the offseason. Winter meetings coming up before you know it. So there's a lot happening, folks. Two autographs a box. Everything ships, so whatever sort of short prints or variations, if any, rookie cards and whatnot will all go. I'm sure Zion out of this goes for like a million dollars. Wait, when's Zion coming back? Isn't it soon? We're like a few weeks into the season now. Where do I find this news? I guess rotoworld.com will... Go, do we go Roto World? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Can I search Zion here? Player name, Zion. Um, Alan Gentry confirmed on the 7th, so that was a few days ago, five days ago, that he will not play in November. Got it. Arthroscopic right surgery on his right knee, right over here. Six to eight week timetable. Earliest he would be back would be on December 3rd against the Mavericks. If it's the eighth, if it's eight weeks, then that would have him back in action by December 17th versus the Nets. All right, that's fine. Williamson says his recovery has been going very well. Good. I feel like people kind of don't pay attention to basketball until closer to Christmas anyway, so there you have it. And by then, I think once the Super Bowl is over, then people really start paying attention to NBA stuff, and hopefully he'll be playing well by then. I don't know what, let's cover that for a second here. All right, Charles, thank you, good luck. It's my first look at this actor. I haven't actually opened a box of this yet. Look at this guy, Kyle guy. I think he's been doing okay. Let's see what that backwards card was. Is this just trolling me or is this? Oh, I see. So there's Dirk Nowitzki. It's a farewell game. And there you go. Rookie Inc. KZ Okbala is your first autograph. I kind of like that pattern in the background there. Are you numbered? No, not numbered. And there's Draymond Green to 99. 
Warriors attempting to play valiantly without Steph and KD and Clay. It's three huge pieces gone. But hey, that's good for that's good for the hobby, right? Because you want to see like more opportunities for someone like I think Jordan Poole is a rookie here. He's been playing pretty well. People want to get Bull Bull into the action. LeBron James looks rejuvenated. There's Ben Simmons right there. Action shots. I like I saw previews of this. I like those NBA City cards. I think those look pretty sharp. Now, according to JMS, he's saying a Hoops Zion, I'm assuming autograph, is going for 550 to 600. That's not bad. I'm going a little slowly here because I don't want to miss like a Zion base card, which I'm sure will go for like 10, 15 bucks or something like that. There's Kemba Walker. I think we might get some more action now that Gordon Hayward, poor Gordon Hayward, broken hand, out for a little bit. And there's your next autograph. We got Quinn Buckner. Of the Bucks, oh, you have to pay, play for the Bucks at that point, right? There you go, Quinn Buckner. They should they should make this their permanent logo, I think. All right, there you go. And we got Chris Middleton to twenty nineteen. Jackson Hayes, I like Jackson Hayes, had a good summer league. The DJ Augustine to 2019. JMS saying, are hoops box prices dropping? It's a good time to buy low then, I would think. Got Draymond right here, high voltage. You agree with the old school Bucks logo, right? I feel like there's a lot of old school logos they should bring back, Charles. There's Kevin Knox to 199. The, bring back the old Nuggets logo. There's a Zion right here. I want that old Nuggets logo to come back. The little uh, silver miner. I'm assuming he's a silver miner. Old silver miner guy in the middle of some sort of jump. He's got a pickaxe in one hand, I think a basketball in the other hand. Bring that guy back. It's Colin Sexton. Eric Bledsoe. Good photography in these courtside inserts. Anything else special? Maybe a low numbered card, something like that? Maybe a, a numbered Zion? That'd be pretty cool. Got Shaq right here. Legends of the Ball. I get it. There's Giannis, Seth Curry, and Norman Powell closes things out. So there you go, Charles. Thanks for grabbing that personal box on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got a Zion and a couple autos for you. So thanks very much. Everything will ship. And uh, there's, we've got some more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, if you're interested in giving that a shot. Thanks again, Charles. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.